Hey everyone, so today we are going to be doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be going through how I transformed from this to this. Then keep on watching. All right, I really wanted to do one of those intros. That's what all of the drag queens do. And I set up this white background and I just wanted to do it completely. Hopefully giving away the look doesn't diminish the whole purpose of the video, okay? But please keep watching. So, okay, as you guys can see by the title, today we are going to be doing a drag transformation. This video has been highly requested ever since my obsession with drag queens. I love going to drag shows. I love watching RuPaul's Drag Race, obviously. And I am a huge fan Fan of so many drag queens and I've always wondered what I would look like in complete drag now if any drag queen out there ever wants to do my makeup please help me because <laughs> as you guys are gonna see throughout this video this is gonna be very difficult and time-consuming for me but I am dedicated I got all the stuff that I think I will need set out in front of me got wig contacts outfit a breastplate yeah so I think without further ado let's just dive into it mm -hmm. All right, so first things first, I got this glue stick. This is an Elmer's glue stick. Apparently the purple one is really better. I don't know why. Maybe it contradicts the hair color. Now, I have tried to cover my eyebrows many a time. My eyebrows are not hair, they are wire, seriously. So I have decided to take a little less of a feat and just try and get rid of this part of my eyebrow. Since I am not a man, I am a woman. I already have kind of high eyebrows, I would say. So I think that if I just take this and then if I want to do it higher like that, I can do that. So I also think that will be more manageable for a noob like me. This is always a difficult process because my hair doesn't go like one way, it goes like a few ways, but we will see how this goes. Oh, I get it. This is two times stronger. I don't want to make any sudden facial reactions. No expressions today. All right, and then we got to dry it. Oh, and this is going to blow hot, and it's so hot in this room right now. First layer of glue is dry. Now I'm going to go in with a second layer. Same exact thing. Just getting it really slick down, basically, so that it is the same level from face to eyebrow is all the same level. <laughs> Does that make sense? Go watch an actual drag queen. They will teach you better. They taught me and I'm trying. Okay, one last layer. Hopefully three is it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> all right, third layer. Let's let that dry. Okay, that actually feels pretty good. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean around where the glue has like built up but you want to make sure not to wipe off the glue okay i've done that before i've done the whole gluing thing to my whole eyebrow and then i just went through with the makeup wipe and wiped it off i was like okay all right you guys now we got to pat it down we've got the airspun loose face powder this is one that a lot of drag queens use surprisingly never even used this before i know a lot of people really liked this until it started becoming like a flashback thing so we'll see and just going to powder it in the direction of the hair guys am i doing okay am i doing all right i'm excited to have some high up brows like i'm really hopeful for this because i really want to have eyebrows that go like straight up now as you can see my eyebrows are basically missing <laughs> no i'm just kidding so i have to color correct a little which i don't have a great color corrector which isn't great so i am just going to take a little bit of this liquid lipstick which is like the right color and just gonna dab that over dear lord i hope this works the eyebrows is always where i freaking lose it if i can't cover these brows i'm starting over I'm gonna pat it down again it has been 20 minutes i've been doing this for 20 minutes all right, okay. Eyebrows, I don't see you as well as I did earlier. That's a good sign, right? All right, it feels pretty good. I'm just going to take a concealer now. I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star concealer. Hopefully this is enough coverage to really cover them brows because like, I still see you under there. All right, that's um, that's as good as it's gonna get. And I'm not gonna lie, that actually is the best it's ever been. I know it's not amazing, but this is the best I've ever gotten my eyebrows to be covered. So I will 100% take this 
I will take this to the bank, absolutely. Now, okay, this is gonna get weird for a second because I have to put my breastplate on, so I will go do that really quick. All right, so I got my breastplate on. Um, we can just censor those. Uh, also, I will just put up this little shirt just for the time being. No problems here. I did, in fact, get a breastplate. Yeah, and these things aren't cheap, might I add. <laughs> this was like $300, so I'm a psychopath. That's all good. I'm almost making another mistake right now. Yep, I am. Okay. Just wasn't glued down enough. Okay, but in the meantime, I'm going to get started on this brow. So I'm going to take a little pomade this is from beauty bakery and this is in the shade taupe and i'm just gonna start making my new eyebrow i'm so excited i never get to like do my eyebrows different ever and i've been growing them out for that exact reason i'm kind of bored of it so this will be fun for a change okay but i can't get it wrong off the get-go i have one shot and like my huge breastplate is getting in the way. I'm not used to having all this surface area in the front. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's kind of like a resting place for me. Wow. Oh my gosh, yes. I love it. Oh my gosh, I've never had a, that long of an eyebrow before. The eyebrow is getting a little thick. I better move on just before I take everything too far. As I do, I have the too far gene. I think my inspo for these brows is Naomi Smalls. If I had to guess, I didn't know I was doing that, but it just feels, feels right. Okay, oh my goodness, these eyebrows are psycho. <laughs> I'm gonna clean them up with concealer and then I'm going to... <clears throat> Sounded weird. <laughs> Clean them up with concealer and then I'm going to fill them in kind of like they have eyebrow hairs. So we will see how that goes. Spare no expensive concealer here. Okay, five years later, I think my eyebrows match. I'm just gonna take all of that concealer and blend it down onto my eyelid as well as just blend it around the eyebrow now that I've shaped it with like a more precise brush. Also, I've completely lost where my eyebrow is. I mean, if I look really close, I can see there's just like weird hair underneath. But for the most part, I think it covered the best it ever has. So I'm very happy. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a dark eyeshadow and I'm just going to brush it through my eyebrow just to, because this one's like kind of a weird color. So I just got to clean it up again. The eyebrows are like almost the most important to me just because like I've never been able to do them right. So I am spending two hours on this. It's okay though. I'm putting my eyeshadow brush down. You guys, here are the brows. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, okay. I know they're not perfect, but my eyebrow hair is like down here. Like this is where my usual tail is and now it's up here. I have so much more eyeshadow room. Also, every time I lift my hands, I like hit my breastplate, ah, but okay. There are the brows. This is the perfect segue. Let's get into the eyeshadow. All right, first things first, we're gonna take just this My Nude color and I'm just going to place that all over the eyelid and also take like a white color and just put that under the brow bone. And that's just mainly to set the concealer before the eyeshadow. Um, my biggest downfall is just going too hard at eyeshadow, like, and just not keeping account for like my talent level and just like convincing myself that I can do anything. I'm gonna not let that happen and I'm going to just do something that I know I can do that I know will complement the outfit that I've bought and that will be good. First things first on this big brush we are going to actually not first things first I already did the base but we're gonna take this and just dust it in the crease it's just a warm light brown I'm already scaring myself <laughs> Okay, then on a little bit more dense of a blender, I'm just gonna take like basically one shade darker, which is this chocolatey brown. And I'm just going to do that a little bit higher than my crease normally is, just right on the outside. I'm not gonna go in too far. Just gonna blend that in down here. Okay, now I'm just going to take this Beauty Bakery pancake ice cream and i'm just going to put that in my inner eye corner actually no what is it called i haven't put makeup in the tight line in so long i've forgotten what it's called but yeah we're going in the tight line today i think that this will just help my eyes open up it's not going to be the most amazing feeling when i put my contacts in but 
all good. The only thing I'm uncomfortable with is not going all out. Now that I prepped my inner eye corner, I'm just going to take this really nice shimmery light color and I'm just going to place that in the inner eye corner and then onto the eyelid. I might have to switch from a brush to my finger near the inside, but for now we will just go along with this. Oh yeah, patting on shadows just does so much more. All right, the last eyeshadow I'm gonna put on the top is going to be a full-on jet black, and I'm just going to deepen out the V right here and then right here. And then I'm gonna start blending in really small circular motions, just in case you're actually watching this to, for it to be a tutorial. I'll try and help, but please don't. It's just a waste of your time. All right, that's good for now. Now we're gonna add some eyeliner. I again have the Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner. And I would like to keep this fairly thin at the front, but then very thick at the edge. So basically I'm gonna get thick all over because I have no control. All right, so we got the eyeliner on. I'm gonna go into the face now because there will be a lot of powder flying around, so I'm just not even gonna worry about the mascara just yet. So, primer. Just putting a pore primer on my nose and the surround just because I think it's kind of necessary. Okay, I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I'm gonna use this mixed with a little bit of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I love this foundation. It's just not full coverage enough for what I'm trying to do here, so I am gonna mix it with the Milani, which is very full coverage. Now I am gonna blend down my neck and all over this. This is hard because my foundation is a different color than my skin, which is a different color than my body or my breastplate. We're gonna have to make it work. Okay, now I'm just going to spray like a bunch of foundation on my self. This is what you gotta do, people. Now, I definitely will be able to blend this better with powders and everything, but that's a good base to start. Now, concealer, Jeffree Star concealer. Hold on, the silicone. The silicone don't like Milani. Now, under the eyes. Now this I'm also using for like highlight, so I'm gonna go down the nose, chin. Uh, I think my forehead's actually good. And I'm just gonna blend this in same way. And the way I'm blending it, I'm just going up kind of like in a triangle. Uh, I'm sure everyone has heard about that. It's for good for highlighting, good for the shape of your face. So that's what I'm doing. Now, setting, very important. I am actually gonna use Laura Mercier with the airspun, like kind of like a mix, just cause I love Laura Mercier. I wanna be like a drag queen, so I wanna use the airspun cause apparently that's a big yes. And just gonna set basically everything on my face. Bronze and contour, I'm gonna using the Maybelline City Bronzer and the L'Oreal True Match. The colors, this one first, then this one. I'm gonna use this big AOA 4F. Why do I think fours and Fs are the same thing? This is an F11, so. I'm just gonna chisel it out a little. I'm gonna go in with the contour after, so this is just to bronze up. I'm gonna bronze my breastplate because why the heck not? This is my time to shine. We're gonna transform this nose, you guys. We're gonna firstly go at the bottom just to make it less long. Then I'm gonna get the sides to make it look more slender. I just go right over like the nostrils like this. All right, now contour. Oh my goodness, so much is going on. And one of which is my camera sign. All right, next we're gonna take the contour, which is just a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna use it a little bit sparingly. Who am I kidding? This is drag. We're not doing sparingly. Gotta cut the jawline I've never had. And now I really wanna warm this up like right around here. Cause my arms are definitely warmer than this. I like love my eyebrows high up. That is something that I might just have to do every day of my life. All right, now we're gonna take this very sweet natural blush. This is the Milani Luminoso blush. And I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks, just like so. We wanna be blushing just a little bit, our natural glow. Only the most natural of beauties. <laughs> what are you talking? 
All right, now I'm just gonna take highlight. This is the flower highlight. This is amazing, by the way, you guys. If you're looking for an affordable highlight, um, I'm going to take it to boop my nose, of course. It's so important. This is actually where I learned this, and I do this every day. It's the exclamation point. Lots of drag queens do it, and I think it like really looks good. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then I'm going to just highlight like a ton. All right, I think we better finish our eyes. Back to the eyes. Okay, really quickly off camera, I just put on my lashes. They are the Lily Lashes in Miami. I swear I only wear these for videos where I'm trying to look dramatic because these feel like hats on my eyes. I think they did complete the eyes good. I'm just going to put a little bit of eyeshadow underneath my eyes and then we will be moving on. For now, I'm just gonna put a light color in my inner eye corner. Okay, and then just a little bit of this light taupe underneath. Now keep in mind I am in fact gonna be putting contacts in after all of this because I am insane and I don't know why. Okay, now onto the lips. I'm thinking like a little nude. Mo also, my breastplate looks so bad. Like I'm definitely gonna just wipe this off and like re-put on the foundation. Don't worry, guys. I see it is separating. I will fix it off camera. But okay, lips, what should we do? I'm thinking just like a little my nude type of moment. I have quite a few right here. So I think I'll just pick from them. Something's in my eye, y'all. I'll tell you what's in my eye. Everything, everything is in my eye. Ugh. I'm going to lip line with the Kylie Jenner Coco K. I'm going to overline, and this is a big excuse for me to do a good old overline. I just think this one. This is in the shade Skin Tight. Now just to top everything off, I have the Beauty Bakery Unicorn Gloss in Enchanted Jelly. This is so pretty. All right, you guys, I think that this is the completed makeup look. Now we, I still have a lot to do off camera. I'm gonna put my wig on. I'm gonna actually glue it down and I'm going to put my contacts in, put my outfit on, and I will be right back to show you the finished drag transformation. Fingers crossed that it all goes smoothly right now. I could very very easily cry off my makeup right now just from irritation, but I'm gonna stay strong. Let's do the final look. All right, guys, so here is the finished look. I am in a level of discomfort that I have never been in before, and I'm also having like the most interesting experience with this wig cap. I glued down my wig cap. It took me like an hour and I glued it down so that it's like pulling my eyebrows up. So to blink my eyes closed, it's like extremely painful. <laughs> But it's like, here it is. Also, I have put foundation on my breastplate four separate occasions and it just keeps separating. So if it's a little bit of a different color, I apologize. I have tried to fix it. I have a cute little fan right here. I got the jewels on my arms. I've got the the brulette and then the choker. Now I have got to say it, I have a absolute, I had such high respect for drag queens before, but now that I went full drag, I have a even higher respect for it. Like, oh my gosh, to even walk around like this is difficult. Like my eyes are twitching, my eyebrows pulled back so far. I'm trying to keep my wig to stay straight, let alone performing, like honestly, Round of applause for all the performer performers out there, the drag queens, it's amazing. I am super happy with how the look turned out. I've actually been planning this for a very long time. Uh, I wanted it to be kind of like Marilyn Monroe, old Hollywood inspired. I love the high eyebrows. I love this wig. This is from Wigs and Grace, not sponsored. I just love their wigs and I love them. Now, you know, it's not one of my videos unless there's something from Wish. So these jewels are actually from Wish. They turned out really good and they go with the look and they're kind of like, they just make it so much more extra like, but okay, you guys, so that has been the entire video. This has been six hours of filming. Hopefully it's condensed smaller for you guys. I'm sure it will be. I'll be editing out a ton of this. To all of you guys who are curious to see me in full drag, here you go. If there are any drag queens out there that wanna make me up in drag, please DM me on Instagram. I will be looking for you. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Last thing I'm gonna leave you guys with is please comment down below what my drag name should be. Name me. 
Name me. What should my name be? I have like this constant struggle of like wanting something kind of clever. I love Evie Oddly. I think that's such a cool name. So something, something with flow to it, something cool, something has to do with me. But yeah, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you want any more videos like this one, make sure to let me know what you want to see in the description, no, in the comments down below. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm about to rip my wig off. Okay, bye! <laughs>